So, as you guys have heard, and it's true, Teslas are pushing vehicles off the line right now with FSD and autopilot features disabled. Now, just a week ago, we had some references to FSD beta being disabled with hardware for vehicles, that being the Model X and Model S. However, it seems like this is going to make its way to all the other vehicles as well. And without the proper software, vehicles are going to be crippled out of their features. Now, originally, we thought that this is going to only affect FSD beta users, but it seems like somebody has taken delivery of their Model S and Autopilot is completely disabled as well. Now just taking a look at this blurry screen grab here, you guys can see that the Autopilot lanes are completely deactivated. There is no lane, there's no lane line, there's no vehicles, there's no cones, nothing whatsoever and the feature is completely disabled. Now having the ultrasonic sensors remove some convenience feature is one thing but having it completely remove every feature there is with newer camera is another thing. Now it's going to be a huge disappointment but let's go ahead and talk talk about hardware 4 and what it's going to force your car into when you do decide to take delivery. Alright, so in recent weeks there has been cars floating around with the newer hardware, especially the Model S's and Model X's, and it seems like they've received some new optics as you guys can see in some of the pictures here. They do have an updated housing as well as newer optics, and if you guys take a closer look inside, there is a red hue or red tint to it. I think this has to do with maybe some heating elements to it, or it could just be the way that it's designed for the viewing angles, but if you do put it side by side with the older version of hardware 3 cameras, you will notice that the viewing angles are completely different. The field of view now is pointing more to the outside instead of facing at the back, and I guess what they're really planning for is that the vehicles would inch forward and it would get a better field of view of cross traffic before it decides to shoot off the line. Now all of this is very beneficial to FSD beta, but if you guys aren't ones that are going to be picking up FSD beta or the FSD beta package anyways, you aren't going to benefit really much from this and I might as well go to the hardware 3 because it does provide FSD beta in itself and it provides a bunch of other convenience feature. Now another good way to spot the differences between hardware 3 cameras and hardware 4 cameras is if you go to the front fender cameras here you will see that the side indicators are a little bit smaller now. This could be cost cutting but honestly I think the design is much better. It looks a lot more sleek and maybe it even outputs a lot more light. Who knows what the design brings us. Now at the moment only a handful of people have picked up their hardware 4 vehicles and it seems like it's more of a negative than a positive at this point. Now we'll talk about why this is pretty much expected and how long the progress is going to take before you have these features enabled, but you guys aren't going to be too stoked about that, so let's carry on and let's talk about Autopilot and FSD Beta. Now before we carry on with the video here, I just want to mention that I got a new microphone and I don't know how the sound quality is like, this is the first video with it, so let me know in the comments below if there's sort of an improvement or is there some kind of degradation to it. If this microphone turns out good, I'm going to be using it more often. Hopefully Hopefully it cuts out all the hissing noises in the back that you guys have mentioned previously. If the audio quality has really improved and you guys are enjoying it, please remember to hit that subscribe and that bell notification if you guys haven't already done so. Let's go ahead now and let's talk about the autopilot that's also being disabled. Alright, so having everything disabled from factory is kind of disappointing and we've already seen this with previous Model 3s and Model Ys with their elimination of ultrasonic sensors. The ultrasonic sensors weren't just used for parking but they were also used used for smart summon as well. And now with the removal of them, Tesla is really double downing on the fact that Tesla Vision is going to take over everything that ultrasonic sensors can do. Now in my opinion, as a software developer myself, I know the limitations of software and hardware. And when you remove hardware, there are chances that software is not going to be able to replace it. And a lot of the times that is what's happening. I do think fully that this is a supply chain issue or Tesla trying to do some cost cutting. Now if you ask me if Tesla Vision is going to be able to completely replace the ultrasonic sensors. I don't believe so and this is the reason why they are bringing back the hardware for the radar. Now if you take a look at 360 around the vehicle you're gonna notice that the back rear facing camera and the side fender cameras pretty much can take over the most half of the vehicle. The only place that vision is unable to see is at the bottom of the front hood and that is where you're gonna be relying on the ultrasonic sensors the most. Now having those blind spots in the front there Tesla is gonna be using and relying more on memory and the occupancy network. So when they vehicle is essentially shut off, it's not going to know what's in front of it and live data is not going to be streamed to the computer, meaning that it's going to take a total guess of what's in front of there and there is going to be a chance that you're going to hit whatever is moved into that spot when your vehicle has been shut off. This means that there's going to be a higher chance that you're going to hit something in front of your vehicle if you decide to move forward after the vehicle has shut off and something came into its blind spot. Now the only real way to fix this is they put radar at the front bumper there and without the front radar, it's just not going to work. No way software is going to be able to 
predict and see what's in front to the exact millimeter. There is no way to get around the fact that software is unable to predict or see through hard metal in front of the hood. So I do really feel bad for those of you guys that have picked up vehicles from 2023 and onwards. First, you don't have the ultrasonic sensors and you also don't have the capabilities of the upcoming radar in hardware 4. So this is something that you guys will have to live with. I know Tesla Vision is going to eventually come out and it's going to be able to give you a sense of the return of ultrasonic sensors, but the reliability can never be there. Anyways, going back to the new Model S's and Model X's with the hardware 4, at least the good thing is hopefully you do have the new radar inside, meaning that once everything has been optimized and calibrated, every feature is going to enable and you're going to get the exact same feeling as if you had the ultrasonic sensors to begin with. The only downside you have right now, and unfortunately this might drag on for months or even a year from the looks of it, is the fact that a lot of features are going to be disabled because of the increased resolution in the newer cameras that they've put on there. Apparently it is 5 megapixels now instead of 1.2, so essentially 3 to 4 times the resolution and that makes for a much clearer image. However, the issue here is it's going to skew the data that it currently has with previous iterations of vehicles. Essentially the neural net has been trained on 1.2 megapixel images, so all this time it's been getting fuzzier images and trying to make a clearer picture out of it, whereas now it gets a really high def image and it doesn't know what to do with it exactly. So definitely a lot of optimization needed here, but in terms of timeline, if you guys can remember back to the days of radar removal and it's relying on Tesla Vision, even at this point now, we don't even have it on par with what radar had because the following distance has been decreased. And then on top of that, ultrasonic sensors got removed late 2022. And even up to this point in March, we still don't have any of the features to replace ultrasonic sensors. So my realistic estimation to this is probably six months to a year down the line before anything gets activated to get on par with what it previously had. Now it could be a lot shorter than that because Tesla has recently dedicated a team directly to the removal of some of the features. They really want to get it on parity with previous videos and at least improve on the safetiness of it. So at this point in Tesla's eye, there's really no need to rush the assistant feature. At least the safety features are already there so you don't have to worry about that. So my real opinion to you guys right now is if you do pick up a newer vehicle and it turns out to be one with hardware 4 and you have everything practically disabled, I'd say just use the vehicle as it is, enjoy the vehicle for once and drive it like it's made to be driven. And when the time comes that everything gets activated, you're going to get an even better experience. Now at the moment, I certainly don't recommend you guys pick up FSD beta subscription or FSD beta package. That would be the most craziest thing ever because if you pick it up right now, you practically won't get any of the features that you paid for. So yeah guys, let me know your opinion below what you think and if you're expecting it in the next couple months, are you looking for at least the bare minimum of autopilot features? Are you going to be extending it and holding it off until those features have been enabled before you pick up your car? The next couple months here is going to be pretty crazy. There's a lot of things going on and a lot of things to talk about. So if you guys haven't already subscribed to the channel, please make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell notification. I'd really appreciate it and I'll notify you as soon as I hear anything else. This should be it for this video guys. This is John once again. Peace out.